morning, good morning, good morning. Once again, this is Zorion TV, and what we have here is a plantation of corn or maize. So, uh, maize is very common crops because it's not that really high maintenance, unlike potato. I mean, no, um, what I mean is tomato, uh, elongated pepper. Um, sweet pepper, bell pepper, um, what else? Onions, eggplants, so corn. Uh, most of the time, every farmer uh, have corns. Why? Because we here in the Philippines, our practice is to have rice or corn along with side dishes or with dishes. So our main food is either corn or rice so th this is how it looks like this is almost what one month from the time that it was planted when you do when you plant corn it's a seed corn so um, during harvest time um, I will show it to you the corn for my next video or once we get yield on this We'll take a video on this too. So going back, um, this is the necessity uh, for every Filipino household. Whether it's corn or rice, it's fine. Uh, aside from that, if you're living in uh, the mountains like this, um, uh, when you process the corn harvest, it will give you um, what do you call that one? The we call it tahop. We call it tahop here in the Philippines. So those tahop is used to feed your hogs. Uh, is used to feed your chickens, or you can also use those uh, unprocessed corn harvest. Uh, to your chicken and then uh, you can also like the corn that we usually eat so this is how it looks like usually when you plant practice here is that you plant three stalks that's it three stalks yes that's it and uh, reason for that why they put three said three seeds I'm sorry three seeds per, per per lot or per area is that to prevent because uh, not all the seeds will grow it's not guaranteed that when you put the seeds there in the soil all of them will grow so it's kind of gamble and uh, so it's kind of gamble so you deep put three at least uh, you get a 30% uh, out of those three that there will be a corn there on that area because you don't need to uh, you, uh, you don't we don't practice replanting them so if there's no plant in there then that's a problem <laughs> so we don't do that so that's a, a small corn in uh, in a month so you will see that uh, how it's big so after four weeks it will look like that and another two months and they can harvest this corn um, so I can see that they are they don't put fertilizer for corn here their practice is that they don't put put fertilizer so um, just like what I said it's not guaranteed that you will get or you, it's not guaranteed that those three seeds will grow like this they actually put three seeds there but only one seed grow like this okay so it's not guaranteed so most I can see that uh, there are other there are plants that only grow two like this so but they actually put three seeds on that so only two there <laughs> Uh, most of them in this part uh, I mean one plant out of three seeds so you have three thirty three percent 
out of those three sets that your plot will not be empty so quite a combo yes because if you will also put four that's okay but what will happen if all of those four seeds will grow so that means that those all four seeds will compete the nutrients on a specific area which is not good because if there will be too much competence of each other then that's a problem they will not the the fruit of the corn is not that big and so you will get a small harvest unlike if it's only one there's no other competent I mean competence there and that's gonna be great so that single plant there and no competence in the plot so we will expect that there will be a bigger or a higher yield for the corn okay so that's it for the corn see let's take a look all right so about a uh, half hectare plantation of corn there yeah okay so if you have same same routine if you have some questions uh, about how good practices best practices for growing corn then you can put your comment below and then we might give you suggestions or we might share you our best practices all right so once again what we have right now is a plantation of corn or maize and thank you very much for watching Zorian TV and have a great afternoon bye bye